roughly midway between Boston and Providence. Everybody knows it as Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Today it's week four and we've got what should be a season is in full swing and we're underway here in week four. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. They fake the handoff. Now Murray forced out to his left. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in. Good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 34. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. But you look at this Patriots defense. They were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. I just consider myself fortunate that I'm not in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, the head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. It's going to be looking at the offensive line coach. And that's when things get dicey. Now he fires deep for Shakir. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. And he will step out of bounds down near the 10-yard line. A big play here for Buffalo. 54 yards. Just a breakdown there defensively. It looked like someone got their wires crossed because no one seemed to pick him up at all. He's running free, and there's not a quarterback in the league who's going to miss that throw. That's a huge play. They'll run with Cook. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now Allen. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Allen now on third and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Khalil Shakir, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bills respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. I mean, <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did, essentially. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. On the run, this is J.K. Dobbins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Well, this defense for the Bills, they played really well in that win last week against Miami. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. First carry now for David Montgomery. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. The Patriots had two and one now to start the campaign, and they moved back above 500 with a victory last week. And you look at their start, a win, a loss, then a win. This might be something we see from them a lot this year because when they're at their best, they can play with anybody. But bringing their best every week, that's been a challenge thus far. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a game. The running ability of Kyler Murray makes defensive coordinators and players crazy because essentially now you have an extra running back there. So if he keeps it, you've got a problem. If he hands it inside, you're probably not ready for it because you have all your focus back on number one. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Second down and eight. In motion left, that's Thornton. Murray flips his forward on a jet sweep. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Dobbins will take this one in. Touchdown, Patriots. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. An extra point by Ryland, up and good, and that makes the score 14 to 7. The kicking order, 14-7, our score. <laughs> Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage... Oh, he rifles one and that's going to be intercepted. 
Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And he takes this one back. Well, it appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. And that flag accepted. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Naheem Hines now out of his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Now Allen to try again after the pick six. Rolling to his right. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Here's Allen. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Nothing open downfield. He had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. It became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Now it's Hines, and they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's second and three. Allen running the option to the left. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Allen now looks to throw. Now he fires deep for Shakir. And for a minute, that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. again here on second and ten. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 23. Now Allen. Flush to his right. Finding Knox there. Complete. And brought down but not before they get it inside the ten to the seven. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career, and maybe more importantly, a first down. They run with Hines, and he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Naeem Hines, his first rushing touchdown of the year, and the Bills are back within a score. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And, we... and that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in. Touchdown. 
their guys just came off of a touchdown drive. They're back in the game, and then bam, they give up a touchdown one play later. How about that? And the momentum, which seemingly had shifted the other direction, thought we might be seeing a comeback. <laughs> that momentum right back the other way. But well, that is certainly not complimentary football that we saw right there. The defense is supposed to help their offense, not give up another touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And this not an easy situation. You're down early in the elements. You're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? But well, one thing is to remember that as a... Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. It's Marte Mapu. And he takes this one back into the end. Even Tucker is making up three possessions against a defense that can make impact plays like this. They don't have this game wrapped up quite yet, but two picks already, one to the house. I think it's fair to say they're headed in the right direction. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. On first down, Allen escaping the pressure right. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. Now a second and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. This is caught. It's Hardy. And they move this all the way down to the nine. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Allen. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half with the defense trying to cover him today. But they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. Flushed out right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the buffing goal turns in to no points whatsoever. That's a very disappointing sequence of events right there. And I, for one, would not want to be the kicker as to run over to his head coach and explain that one. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. 
Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. There they will bottle him up behind the line, and now will they use a timeout? Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They're going for it with Dobbins. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. In motion left is Beckham. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. So the first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Bass is good, and that will do it. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape, up past the 30. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Here's Allen on first and ten. He's got the hookup with Diggs. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Allen going to change the look here. Operating from the red zone now. Allen. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Quarterback in 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here's second and ten. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. They'll roll him out right. And this throw incomplete. Oh, the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Now Bolden on the return. And the Patriots are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in coming out the start. Two yards to go, second down. Running left, Montgomery. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. 
Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 22, here's second and eight. To throw, it's Murray. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. To throw is Murray. Targeting Dobbins again, and he's got it again. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Murray flips his forward on the jet sweep. Breaks through the contact. He's on his way. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the quite handsomely. Yeah, and let's face it, the quarterback loves it because it pads his stats as a completed pass for nice yardage downfield. But I like the way they get the receiver in motion. It's almost like he's running a route before he gets the football because he's got a full head of steam when the ball is popped in his direction. 49 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Safety's creeping. Kill, kill, kill. Stevenson is into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Been good, and they open the lead up now to 25. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And Diggs has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. 
His throw incomplete. And now to common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Allen to throw once more. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Allen going to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. The Mills passing game getting them down the field. They've got another first down. To throw, it's Allen. This is caught. And he doesn't quite make it. Cook is in. Touchdown, Bills. And certainly some credit there for that touchdown goes to the offensive line. They never get the credit they deserve in the stat sheet, but they are the reason that they got the points. Excellent job up front, clearing the way for the score. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. Now Murray off play action, steps away. Deep ball for Goodwin. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And they open the lead up now to 25. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the films. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Allen looks to throw on second down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Christian Gonzalez. And the Pats are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used a calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it. And sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will get into the end zone. This will be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game.
Extra point by Rylan, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. To the air, Allen. Flush to his right. That pass is caught by Hardy. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 16 more on that one and another first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing now is Allen. Has his man, it's Shakir. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. It's a gain of 35. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for them. And this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, does he down to 25? And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line ready to go. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. They'll get 34 yards there. So that about the shortest pass a quarterback can make, but it winds up going for a bundle. Yeah, let's face it, in the stats, it sure looks like a heck of a throw, doesn't it? <laughs> it's almost like in baseball when you get that little Texas leaguer that turns into a double, you would think that you hit it off the wall. Big time play for him on a short little pass. And he is gonna lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever gonna get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. He pulled it in. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. 
toss left to Montgomery. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Murray's going to look to throw this thing. Right side, Thornton with it. And the Patriots are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Here's Murray. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder what's their motivation because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not in their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. come to the line to start their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Field. Here's Allen. It's caught. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. So an offensive final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Then later on, we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker. Yeah. Or, of course, in the fantasy football world, these points mean a lot. A lot there. Well, on the one side, if you try to take away something positive from this game, they played to the final whistle, getting the touchdown there on the last play, but still all for naught, really. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say give them points for positivity. I like that. That part is good. But I often wonder, when the game is settled and the clock is run out, do we really need to kick the extra point? Oh, yeah. It's, it just, it's silly. It's it, silly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know that people have explained before, well, you got to play it all the way through. Come on, this thing was done. So for the Pats, they're on a nice early roll as they move to three and one with a win here. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Bills, they'll drop down to one and three. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.